Hi, I'm Lynn Kramer, and welcome to Routines for Recitals and Competitions. You'll notice I have a little cheat note right here, and this is for you to help you with the musical cuts for this first number, which is an intermediate tap number for competition and recital, and it's called I've Got Rhythm, a song we all know and love, but this particular version is from the soundtrack of the Broadway musical crazy for you. It's cut number 13 on that readily available CD. I get all of my CDs from Amazon.com and all the, both routines I'm teaching you today are available from that source. Um, this particular routine I choreographed for uh, 12 dancers, but it can be done for any number, certainly larger. So if you want to enter this number in a large group or line competition, it would justify the approximate four-minute length. It's just under four minutes. Uh, very stagey, lots and lots of stage patterns, lots of group work, and I think you'll find it to be really fun. Um, the, the number actually starts at one minute and 44 seconds. That's where you'll pick it up. There's a big gap in the song. You'll hear a definite dropout of one instrumentation and then a pickup of another. You'll start to hear single driving percussive chords and this is where the, the actual number begins. There's no vocal at this point. So that's at one minute and 44 seconds. You play through to four minutes and five seconds and then you make your first cut. So you're out at 4.05. You're back in at five minutes and 32 seconds and then back out again at 6.18 back in at 6.50 and it plays to the end. Now if you get really ambitious, this is an eight minute number on the CD, but I was not that ambitious. So those are the cuts for you. It's about a four minute number and I really hope that you enjoy it. All right, this number I've got rhythm has kind of a hoedown kind of feeling. A uh, very Americana and the opening of the number, as I say, I staged it for 12 dancers and there are uh, five different groups of dancers on the stage. You can certainly stage them however you would like, but I started out with a single dancer actually sitting on the floor. All of the dancers are grouped in various small groupings, but the first dancer starts here and she's leaning back and she starts with just a little tap on the floor. So she's tapping her right foot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This continues. She really is the bass drum of this counterpoint section. So it's imperative that she hang on to the beat right here. She continues all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then she starts to get a little more enthusiastic, adding that acting component in there. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really big. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the seventh set of eight, she stands. Seven, two, three, four, and she's going to run forward. Five, six, seven, eight. As will all the dancers. They're all going to pick up on that last set of eight running forward. Six, seven, eight. And that's what gets us into unison. Now that's just the first dancer once she gets started on her own. You'll notice when you see the number together with all of the dancers that my next group is actually upstage slightly and way off to the left. They hold the first set of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they drop the heel and brush this foot through. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they run into place. So that's your second group of dancers. The third group of dancers, you'll notice they're in the front, but just in from stage left. And they start, obviously, on the third set of eight. And actually, they do a pickup. So it will be two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Running again. Then you have 
your fourth group and they're way over stage right and you'll notice when you see it I have one girl standing and one girl kneeling just to give me some different levels in the opening position but it should be very casual so I actually have one of my dancers kneeling down and they're doing this rhythm and they start on the fourth set of eight so you have three two three four five six seven eight four two three four five six seven eight five two three four five six seven eight six two three four five six seven eight seven two three four five six seven eight and they stand and run forward now the standing girl was doing the same rhythm only she was just standing here rather than kneeling now this little rhythm can be anything the, the standing girl could be just keeping time this way there's lots of options there but it gets the hands involved and does another counter rhythm now you can see the build everyone is doing a different rhythm and it's accenting what you hear in the music which are work tools of a community axes and pans and all sorts of odd things but we're reflecting what you hear in the music exactly then you've got your fifth group and this fifth group of dancers is doing a little more like a little more complicated step scuff heel spank ball heel scuff heel spank ball heel scuff heel spank ball heel so it starts like this four two three four five six seven eight five two three four five six seven eight six two three four five six seven seven two three four five six seven eight what's important is that six seven eight because that's the end of your introduction and everybody is running and my dancers run into two long lines now one more thing to notice and that is in each group not every dancer say you have three dancers in a group not every dancer is beginning at the same time there's a lot of acting moments going on and say in group two they're starting this way but I have three dancers in that group so the first girl will start at the appropriate time which is the second set of eight and maybe her buddy standing there go oh, come on let's get involved and all of a sudden you're picking girls up at different times that's something that you can create as a teacher and your students can create to give you a wonderful improv feeling of let's all join into the number that's the look that we want at the top of the dance now once we do all of that we're ready to go with the first step and we have scuff heel spank step spank step shuffle hop step step Scuff, heel, spank, step, spank, step, shuffle, hop, step, step. Scuff, heel, spank, step, spank, step, shuffle, hop, step, step, break, go, step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, stamp, clap. Now all that happens next is we reverse it. Scuff, heel. Scuff, heel. Scuff, heel. Break is different. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, leap into a riff. And you'll notice all of this movement of the arms. When we get going fast, I pop the head. that's your tempo now the step is really very very easy it's just a series of irishes but because the tempo is really quick it gives it a more advanced look and feel but those arms scooping around the torso are what really are important so after we get through the second break from this position all of the dancers are traveling together this is the footwork spank step shuffle ball change flap cramp roll stomp stamp now we just cut under and repeat it facing the back except on the third one we go to second so let me count this for you we have six seven eight a one a two a three a four and a five six seven a one a two a three a four and a five six seven a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five, six, seven, and this is your break. And eight and a one, and two and a three, and four and a five, and six and a seven, eight. Now what you're doing from the stomp is a swinging cramp roll. Spank ball, toe, heel, heel, 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 cut. Now you'll also notice two things in this step. The foot is flexed on the riff because that's the style of the number so when you do 
a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. Notice my foot. I'm flexing it throughout because it's the style. Plus it gets the foot ready for that spank. And then you can swing your arms and cut. And at that point, I stretch, stretch my leg out because the arms are lengthened. I'm not here as I was before with the swing through. Now, at this point, your dancers probably have to have a little bit better turning technique than even their tap technique. This series of turns gets to be a little, uh, a little overwhelming in the sense that there are many, many revolutions involved. Now, all the dancers are traveling upstage. Full lap, spank step, full lap, shuffle, hop step, step, stamp, hold. Full lap, spank step, full lap, shuffle, hop step, step, stamp, hold. Last time, you don't stamp because you're going downstage to there. Now, I'm going to give you that with counts. All right, so from the stamp, you have a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five, six, seven. A one, a two, a three, a four, and a five, six, seven. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I have to give you a little helpful hint. Clean arms go a long, long way in dance competition to get a great score. I know I judge all the time and I love it when I see arms in unison, clean, really, really clean and precise. This can be added to even with the head focus on this step because man oh man, watch what happens. You just did this. Now watch my head. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five. My head's going to stay in the back. One, two, on the flat, my focus changes. My focus changes there. And then you have to bring it back for the turn. And that's a great big yee-haw kind of jump, right? Bump, bump. That pulls everybody up. Now, what is tricky for the front row from this position is that they have to also pull over their right shoulder and stop right here. And then step out and then they turn again over the left shoulder and step out. Then they reverse and step out and reverse and step out. Then they're going to flap halfway around to the front to face the audience. They have become the second row. All right, now I'm going to show you again what happens when they come out of Steph's scup cramp roll because this is the tricky part. Eight, one, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's the way it works to get them up stage. All right, so let me get you counts on the whole turn and I'll show you exactly how this works. This is from the stamp and this is the front row. A five, six, seven, eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, seven. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have my hands here on the flaps, right here on the flaps, because my girls wore jeans and a cute little tied shirts to give it that kind of all-Americana farm girl, yeehaw country feeling. So they were able to hook their fingers kind of down into their jeans. So after they did the hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth to the back, they hooked their thumbs to come around into time step position. And the flaps just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right there to regular time step position. All right, now the back row. The back row has done the same exact thing. The difference is they don't have to turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven. They go straight up, straight out. Now they turn straight up, straight out. 
straight up, straight out, straight up. They do a whole turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So they're going to here. So the difference is when they come out of this, while the front row turns around to go through the windows, this group just pulls up. One, two, three, four, five, and then they turn. Bump and out. Bump, out, bump, out, and come around, whole turn. And that'll get everybody to here to this position. And what's happened is we have changed rows. All right? Kind of a difficult way to change rows, but very effective. Now, something that I may not be doing every time as effectively as you might want to teach it to your students is when you come around for this little hook and we're here, you want to make sure on this turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, on the next turn, we try to get all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's easier on the faster ones. All the way around, out, all the way around, out, then half turn. Okay, so that's that step. Now we're getting to the time steps. This is very different, and what we're doing absolutely is matching the sound that we hear musically. So from here, I'm gonna count you in. Five, six, seven, eight. Now that's some counting in there. And of course, that's way under tempo. So what we have is this. Five, six, seven, eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, five, hold six, seven, hold eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, five, hold six, seven, hold eight, a one, a two, a three, and five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. And that eight, I tell, Dancers, that's a scare you moment. Five, six, seven, boom. It jumps right out at you. So let me give it to you one more time, and we're going to speed it up just a little bit. Five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven. Now, once we get to here, we're still in two rows. Remember, we changed rows in the front rows in the back, back rows in the front. Now, this next step is a trench, and it's going to take us, though it won't take me, I'll try not to travel too far, but what it's actually going to do is take your entire group as upstage as you can get, almost to the ground row of your lighting. You want to really pull them upstage and into one line. So from here, we're going to do trenches. Now the difference is, on these trenches, the elbows lift as the foot does rond de jambe. And you're going to come around to this position. And from your trench, I'll count it for you, but and from your trench, you're picking this foot up. Bump, bump. So we have that movement. Great big jump in the air. So the best way to do this, rather than actual, well, actually I'll count it for you, but the best way to learn it for now, after your little scare leap, is to back up and count these. There's 12 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Step and leap. So let me do that again. I'm kind of humming the tune for you, but that's the way it'll work, and then I'll actually count it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Step and leap. Now, if you were to actually count it in real time, in real time, it would go just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's what you're actually gonna hold. You're gonna feel bop, bop, bop. And the next step is going to lead you in beginning with count number eight. All right, so we've just finished the trenches up stage, and everybody's in one line, and we've gone one, two, three, four, we hold five, six, seven. Next thing we do is a step called falling off the log. Eight and a one, two, three, four, five and six and seven. Eight and a one, two, three, four, five and six and seven. And it continues to repeat. Let me break that down for you. Old, old step, you leap to your right foot. Eight and a one. So the foot shoots across. The look is, I can't keep my balance. I'm on a log. Get it? Falling off the log. So we're doing this as though we're actually stepping on a log as it's rolling in the water. That is the look you want for the step. 
without turning it goes. Eight and a one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Eight and a one, two, three, four, five. Eight and a one. That's what you're doing with the turn. Now what I do with my dancers, and you'll notice when they perform, is with all these dancers I bring two forward, way forward, and then two slightly forward. So we stagger not every other one in a window, but every two. Two forward, two slightly front. Two way forward to meet the other girls, two slightly front, and so on down the, down the uh, line. So what you have is still six girls in the front and six girls in the back, but they're staggered in twos. Um, the video, I, the girls aren't, their spacing isn't perfect, so it gets a little sloppy and you might look at it and think, now they're not in twos, but that's the way we're headed is in pairs and pairs. So when we get there and we do the last one, eight and a one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, we're going to step on our right foot, step scuff, step on your left, and you're going to ball change back front, back front stamp. And the arms are going to swing through and stamp forward. So it, the, the turn looks like this. Step brush, step ball change stamp. And there's no weight on this front foot. So the very last falling off the log, eight and a one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how you're counting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now from here, we're moving. Flap heel. You have six of them. And where we're traveling to, in, when you see the actual formation, is columns of four, uh, about midway, or the quarter mark, stage right, and the quarter mark, stage left. Girl column, girl column, girl column, and one more dancer. Now, doesn't have to be staged that way, but that's what you're going to be looking at. And when you do, realize that I brought those four girls forward because they're going to do an athletic move called over the top or glides. The girls in the back have an abbreviated step that's very easy. So we're all moving on flap heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. There's six of those. Then the girls in the columns are doing flap heel stamp. The lap heel stamp, the lap heel stamp, the lap heel stamp. And there's five of those. So it counts like this. They're moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And then they're going on to another step. Now, when I say move forward, you may have some girls that are way in the back that have got to take off to the columns, and they've got to do big flap heels to get there. The four girls that are doing the over the top are going to have to move away downstage to be featured. And they have the same six flap heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, extend the leg. And we have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those are called over the tops. Now, that's a full out, well, as best as I can do right now, full out over the top. You can always go really high with them. You can also do what are called glides. The foot stays on the floor and you jump over, but you don't lift, lift your leg at all. And that is also an easy way that they can be done. But because the style of the number is kind of this way with big arms, I think the over the tops look much better with lots of height. And I'm sure that you have girls or any boys, this is the place to feature them right here. As a matter of fact, if you have a one boy, I'd put all the girls in the back and let the boy do this in the front. Big round of applause for the young man. One or two, or if you're lucky enough to have more than that. All right, so that's a thought. Then once we get through, our over-the-top people are here. They've just completed. Our girls in the columns have just done this. Now we all join in unison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and a four, five, hold six, seven, hold eight. Now let me go back and break that down. Full lap, heel, full lap, heel, back to Broadway. Stamp, hold, 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 Broadway. Stamp, hold, 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 Broadway. Full lap, full lap, full lap, cramp roll, stamp, chug. What is Broadway or back to Broadway? 
fall lap, heel, heel, spank, heel, tip, heel. If you want to make it harder, toe, pat, toe, pat. So you could do this, stamp, toe, stamp. Then I'm doing full lap, full lap, full lap, alternating cramp roll. Stamp on the diagonal, drop your head to your right hand, pop, and release the right foot with your head focus front. Now, going back to the Broadway step. Head. 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 That's the way it works. Now I have to explain the next, well I have to explain all the parts, but I have to explain the next part very carefully because this is what you have to do for the whole next section. This particular section is called the challenge section coming up. And because it's called the challenge section, we have three distinct groups and you have to decide which of your dancers possesses those particular flash trick or flash step uh, talents to execute in whatever group you want to place them in. If they've got great pickups and great wings, you definitely want to put them in group two. If they have wonderful barrel turns, and I have a double barrel turn and wing to a toe stand, very difficult to do, but it is in the third group, you put them in the third group. You put maybe your, your students that don't do flash tap as well in group number one. Group number one is very simple. That the reason I'm talking about this now, even though we're not quite there, is because this next series is a turn series. And you have to set up your dancers. What side do you need them on? What girls do you want to start with? So all those things become apparent when we do this turn sequence because dancers have to kind of end up where they need to be for the challenge section. So this is what happens. We've done th these two moves. We have Chene step, pas de bourre, and the rhythm goes. Ba, 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 ba. You'll hear it in the music. Two against three. Ba, 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 ba. Really quick, and what we have is Chene step, and I bring my right arm through just like ballet class so that we can do a maxi four turn series. So this is what you've got. And if your dancers are heading to stage right, they don't have to make a turn. So what I did was, in my featured over the top dancers, I took my two dancers who were stage left and I moved them stage right. So they're doing what I'm doing right now. Chene step, pas de bourre. And the girls that were on stage right doing over the top, that came forward and did all this Broadway stuff, right? I immediately turned them around. Watch what I'm doing. Chene step, pas de bourre. So now I'm facing upstage. The head should be the same. I didn't turn my head to the right. Chene step. So they're spotting stage left, which is where they're headed. Pas de bourre, and on the next turn series, the two girls from stage right are crossing to stage left, and vice versa. And who crosses in front or back is up to you. Now, girls in the columns, I do every other one. So over here on stage right, girl number one and girl number three are going to turn around and head that way, while girl number two and four head to stage right. And the same thing happens on the other side. Every other girl headed in a different direction. So you have two girls in front doing this, but the columns are literally meshing. My fingers, they're meshing like that. So they're coming across that way and crossing in the middle. And in the meantime, I'm setting up my trio right in the center. So after you do Chene Step Pas de Bourre, actually let me, fa let me face the mirror to show you this turn. This is a maxi four turn. Step, shuffle, leap, toe. Step, shuffle, leap, toe, Chene. Step, shuffle, leap, toe. Step, shuffle, leap, toe, Chene. And you know if you have really talented girls, you can put a pick up, which is a swap from the right to the left, if your dancers have that talent and you want to throw that in. These turns are very fast, I should remind you. So I'm going to step slightly to the left, and I'm going to try to do this very, in a very confined amount of space, but you want your girls to really travel. Chene, step, pas de bourre, step, shuffle, leap, toe, step, shuffle, leap, toe, chene, step, shuffle, leap, toe, step, shuffle, leap, toe, chene, and whatever position, or I should say front to back that they were facing on pas de bourre, I was facing the front before I started my maxis. I'm still facing the front for the next 
group of turns, which is what our next group of uh, steps, which I call the Gene Kelly. So when you come out of the last Cheney turn, what I'm doing with my feet is step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, stamp, clap. But I put a pickup in it. Step, shuffle, pick up, step, step, shuffle, pick up, step. And you could also do it with a stamp. The pickup happens in slow motion. When you shuffle your foot, your pickup happens from right to left, and you step back. Then you step out, you shuffle your foot, your pickup happens left to right, and you step back, and then you run it together, trying to get to the back foot. Now, everybody's doing the same foot. It's just that some of the dancers are now facing the back, because what's happened? They've done chene, step, pas de bourre, step, shuffle, le toe, again. So when they get to Gene Kelly, guess what? They're facing the back. And right there is where the challenge section starts. So girls that are doing the challenge section, I love this word, they kind of have to finagle, which just means cheat. They have to get into position so that when they start the challenge, they're either facing front or they can actually turn around to do the step so they can face the front. Now, challenge section starts on the left foot. Because no matter what you've done, remember, no matter what side you faced, it's your left foot that we need. So, we're going to try, I'm going to do a sharp turn. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change. And over and over, that's what you're doing, all right? That's a very easy step, and you noticed my arms hooking around the body. And of course, style. Ba. Very, almost a little sailor-like right there, yeah? Now, what else is happening in this group? The group is leaping to the left foot and jumping out. And I'm going to do this slow motion. The leg is coming around, and then you're pulling the arms in. It looks like calisthenics, doesn't it? And you extend, and you come around, and you pull in. And what's happening is you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now. What happens in this group is the stage left dancer of the trio does one of the shuffle hop steps. Da da dee da 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 dee da 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 dee da da. It waits here, so they just hop. Second time, third time, fourth time. The girl in the middle, you know what's coming. She starts. Now, while girl number one, dancer number one, goes on, she repeats. Then she's going to join in. From here, we do step, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step, cramp, roll. And this cramp roll is alternating. Da da dee da 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 dee da da bi li da. Da da dee da 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 dee da da bi li da. Five e and a six e and a seven e and a eight. Five e and a six e and a seven e and a eight. Right from here, we go to an extension. One two, we're going to flip it. Three, four, walk five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to flap chug. A one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight. And then we're going to run. One, two, three, four, five. Regular cramp roll. Six and a seven. So it works like this. You start with the right leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jog, 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 scuff, cramp roll. And give me a nice height on the scuff and down you go into the cramp roll. Now, that's the end of group three. But when group three starts this layout, four girls have come from stage right and stage left, the Netherlands. They've come out from the sides. And here they've come into their spot. And they're in a window. But now they're going through group one. And they're going down stage. And they do the run. And they're ready to go for their group. They do eight wings. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, with their arms out, extended and flexed. Then they do four pickups, and when they do the pickups from this position, every girl does pickups. Every girl, but stage right girl goes up on one, next girl goes up on two, next girl goes 
Up on three, next girl goes. Up on four, and they all do the break. Now that's a maxi Ford break. I did it with the pickups that I showed you earlier on the turn. Same step, but you can of course take them out. And that's where you're going to. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, da 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 And you go right to there. That's all of group two. That's all they have. And then they sort of fade away as group three starts. Now before I do group three and while I catch my breath a little bit, let me tell you one thing. And that is my dancers are all clapping their hands and having a big time on the side, acting moments. Ooh, -hoo, look at them, aren't they great? A lot of clapping over the head, a lot of clapping here. So it needs to feel very uh, free at that point. And once a group has finished their solo section, then they can jo join in and clap hands. Uh, what happens now is, once group two finishes maxi Ford break, there are dancers, stage right, and there are dancers, stage left, coming in to the middle. So they're actually traveling fanny first. And what they're doing is shuffle pickup. Again, six of those. Now, you can take out the pickup and just do shuffle leap. Either way, it makes no difference. Now, now that I've showed you the step, if you're on stage right, if your dancers are on stage right, they're beginning with their left foot or their down stage foot. If they're coming from stage left, they're beginning with their right foot or their down stage foot. So the dancers are doing this. I'm going to be a stage right dancer, and I'm going to take the pickups out for now. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, step, shuffle, hop, step, step. And notice where my arms just went. That is a preparation for a barrel turn. To get into the, to the preparation, your left foot steps forward. Step, shuffle, hop, step, prep. Single barrel turn, up ball change, double barrel turn. Step down to your left foot and a wing. And then I have my dancers wing to their toe tip and then come flat to the floor. Now they don't have to do anything that difficult. They can just do a regular wing or out and a wing toe stand together. They can do a split toe stand, anything that you select. My dancers are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, step, shuffle, hop, step, step, up, ball, change, double, together and a wing to a toe stand and they come down. So after their wing, their wing to the side, they go up to their toes and then they come down. And from that point, they stay in the front all the way across. Group number two fills in behind them in the windows. And group number one fills into the third row. There's three of them. So you have a pyramid with the longest side on the front. But you have a pyramid position for the next section. And this is one of our great big music cuts. So we go starting with the left foot. Shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle heel, shuffle heel, heel, shuffle, flat, flat, clap, arms. Slow motion. Uh, left foot, sorry, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and seven, and eight, and one. One more time, very tricky this little part. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and seven, and eight, and one. Then you're going to hear, ba, 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 and then we go back into tempo. This is a, ri uh, a melodic section of the music that you will recognize. Ba, 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 ba. Mm, ba, 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 ba. Mm, I got rhythm. So you're going to hear that from the hand flip. Flip. I've got rhythm. And then the footwork goes step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, full lap, step, stop. So we go back into a time step. Now, what makes this little waltz clog tricky is that you're going to turn it. Again, you're turning to the right. You'll notice that I made a half turn in the back. That's an easier version. So you have two options. Face the mirror, 
face the mirror, that's a whole turn. Or face the mirror, face the back. Obviously, the first one is the flashier turn, but it is very quick. Da da dee da 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 dee da 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 da. Or da da dee da 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 dee da 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 da. And you've really got to nail that step stomp because you're coming out of a turn. Okay, so your time step goes like this. A five, six, seven, eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, and eight, a one, a two, a three, and a five, a six, a seven, and one. Same step. Ba, 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 ba. All your dancers run up stage. Run, 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 step, scuff, hop, step. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. And what they do is they hook on as they come forward doing a very, very much a clogging step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Step, tip, hop, step, scuff, hop, step, step, step. And when they do this, they drop arms. So after eleven, twelve, they drop arms. From here, the toes are going to open and the heel is going to pull in. Out, 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 out. Add your hands. Push, push, push. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And you notice my head is going each time. And when I cross my hands, my hands are hitting the hands of the girl next to me. So when I do those pulls, I'm hitting the girl's hands. Then I flip my arms above my head. Flip. Step, 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 step. Back to that I got rhythm. And you're going to hear it three times. Mm, I got rhythm. Don't put your weight on your left foot. Hit back. I've got rhythm. Ba, ba. Same thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, so let me put those together and show you how it works. Because this no weight foot is really tricky. Arms, I've got rhythm. No weight, I've got music. Ba bum, I've got my man. And then we have a little break in the music. Tip, step, step, scuff, hop, step, step, full lap, ball change. And the arms go out. You have one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, Eight, and your hands are going to go out, palms up, and your right knee is in a lunge position. So let me show you how this works. Tip, step, step, stop, up, step, step, the lap, we'll change, step, 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 hop, step, hop, step, step, out. From here, all of your dancers now make another single line. You have walks. One, two, three, you're going to ball change and turn around and walk forward four more, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to start with your right foot and do 12 shuffle leaps or shuffle pickups. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, all the way back, four, three, two, and one to here. So you have 12 total. Then from this position, you're going to ball change and do eight pickups. And you remember the arms earlier in the pickups. These arms begin from the middle dancer and work their way out. So your two dancers in the center lift their arms and you peel the arms out from the center as you do your eight or actually seven pickups because you have to ball change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we should be in one complete and total line. From here, you're going to go back to falling off the log. We've already done it. And what happens is girl one goes forward. One, two, three. Girl four goes forward. Four, five, six. Girl seven goes forward. Seven, eight, nine. Girl ten goes forward. Ten, eleven, twelve. And what you're making are four diagonal lines. So everybody's feeding into a diagonal. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. So those downstage girls really have to move. So everybody ends up and then we go and one as a whole group and one now what happens is line two three and four goes to here on and one and the first line the first column stage right doesn't do their and one here they do their and one here because they're going to do four spot turns and one two and three four and five six and seven eight one and a two and and they go to the right foot and hold while column two goes 
and one, two, that's column one turning, they begin. And three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and. And they're going also to this lunge position. Group three does the same thing. They go and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, five, and a six, and. And the last group has it a little bit, bit different because of their footwork. They go and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, five, and a, uh, four, so pardon me, five, six, seven, and a eight. So they still have those same four um, inside spot turns, but their right foot steps down, seven, and a eight. Everyone else is in the lunge waiting for them. So everyone's left foot is free when we start. We're in the last section. We have and a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight. Four, three, two, one, and a one, two, three, four. Ball change, step, scup, cramp, roll, and out. And that's our ending. All of that is in unison. There we have it. All right, this is our second routine, and this is a more advanced routine than the crazy for you, I've got rhythm number. This is called Go daddy -O, and it's a big swing number. Uh, it's done in a boogie-woogie time, so there's six sets of eight to a step rather than four sets of eight to a step. You'll hear it musically. It's off an album by Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, and it's a self-titled album, so it's the first one that has come out. So the album is also called big bad voodoo daddy and it's uh, cut number eight off the album and you can find it at amazon.com both the first routine I've got rhythm and this routine if you would like the notes for the routine with all of the steps counted out then all you have to do is email me at Lynn Kramer L-Y-N-C-R-A-M-E-R at O-U dot E-D-U and I'll be more than happy as I have on the choreography club to send you the notes so just contact me. All right, we're going to go right on. I did this number with five dancers. You can do it with as many as you want. We all start here snapping and keeping time to the cymbals at the top of the number. The stage right dancers reach with their left foot. One, two, three, four, and five, and a six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, four. Go, daddy-o. And they actually say, go, daddy-o, on five, six, seven, eight. Then the stage left dancers will reverse that and go after the stage right dancers. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, and a six, seven, eight. One and two and three, four. Go, daddy o. Now we're you know we're pointing into each other. Stage right group this way. Stage left group that way, and we're looking at each other. So now we all go into a flap cramp roll. We have to do stage left people have to do an alternating one to get on the correct foot. The stage right folks do a regular one because our right heel has to drop first. Go daddy-o, and everybody says go daddy-o there. Counts for the last one. You do a one and a two, a three, a four, five and six and a seven, eight, one and two and three, four, go daddy-o. From this position, I do what's called a mix it up. And we start flapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, flap, cramp, roll, heel, heel. And when I say mix it up, I just let my five, five dancers take off and they changed positions. You'll see it when you watch it. And we start with the left foot and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. From there, fifth set of eight, scuff, heel, ball, heel, spank, step, spank, step, full lap, ball change, out, out, out. So you have one, two, and three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven. Now we've all stamped on this right foot. I have my dancers in two lines, so my front row takes off. Shuffle, step, shuffle, ball change, ball change, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. Eight and one and two and three and four, five and a six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four. Turn back. 
from here they do a shim sham. Eight and one, two and three, four and five, and six and seven. Clap, simple break. Now then, I go all the way back to this stamp because the back row has to cheat and they have to crutch this left foot and begin the same sequence on the right. Now I'm going opposite the front row at the same time. My first turn is back to the left and my last turn is back to the right and my shim sham starts on the right foot. So we all end up together with our feet in parallel first and we've alternated the tra triple traveling time step and we've alternated the shim sham and the break gets us all together. At this point we're in three groups. So my stage left dancers start first. I have two stage left. Eight and a one, two, three and four and five and six and seven. Eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. And they point to the middle dancer who repeats from this parallel position the same step. Eight and a one, two and three and four and five and six and seven. And they point to the last dancer. Now I'm not going to count, I'm going to let you hear the rhythm. Everybody in the room goes, hey! And we chug on that right foot at the end of the third group. Now we're going to do double waltz clog five times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a step on eight. We travel to the left. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, ball change, ball change, chug. And then we flap and I have my dancers changing places. Now, where I change rows is on the double waltz clog. I have the second row move through the front row and the rows have changed places. And then we all travel together and then we change places and we have dida, 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 step, step. So that gives us six full sets of eight for that step. Now from here we go into a flapple. A flapple is a, a triplet or a third, brush with the foot, heel of the foot, toe of the foot, and you throw it. So it has three sounds that are really fast. So you're going four times, tip, heel tip, heel tip, bomber, shay, spank, heel tip, heel, and a five count riff, clap, ball change, step, tip, spank, heel tip, heel, and a five count riff, clap, ball change, and then we flapple again. So it's not an exact repeat, the flapples bookend that step. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ba, 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 hop, Hop, hop. Now you're hearing in the music, twos against three. Ba da ba 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 da ba ba. And the back row, the back row is doing shuffle, ball change, very even rhythm. Shuffle, ball change. Two or my two dancers who are my men in the front are doing a split toe stand. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da, with big circular arms. So you have shuffle, ball change, front row. Everybody leap shuffles. And you chug forward. Alright, so you're doing one and a two and a three and a four and a five, seven hold eight. From here, you're gonna pick up your right foot and do a series of drawbacks. I'm gonna let you listen to it. All right, so you have, starting with a spank, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. From here, full lap, heel dig, brush ball, heel dig, brush ball, heel dig, brush ball, heel dig. It's like an inverted paradiddle. Full lap, heel dig, come back away from it. Double pick up to a toe. Ball change, heel step, heel step. So from the double pick up, you're going to a toe tip. So it goes up, up, land, toe tip. Ball change, heel step, heel step. Your left foot's free and we're going to do a row, row, row your boat um, round robin right here. Basic footwork. 
and eight and a one, a two, a three, a four, a five and six and seven, eight and one and two and three, four and a five and six and seven, and eight and a one. Spank step, spank step, spank step, full lap shuffle, full ball change, shuffle, ball change, ball change, hop shuffle step, shuffle, ball change, chug, 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 back, 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 full lap shuffle step, step, shuffle, ball change, ball change. I just did group number one for you. Group number one. The middle dancer does the same first set of eights and eight and a one. But they do an extra shuffle ball change. Another shuffle ball change. Group number three does the same first eights, and then they have three shuffle ball changes, which puts them even later. So we have an eight and a one. Full lap shuffle ball change. First group, second group, third group. And that gets us through the round robin. Where you're going to see the peel off is on the heels. You're going to heel. Da 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 da. That's what you're going to hear when each group peels off. It's the heel chugs going forward. The more they lean back, the cooler it looks. So they can lean back and throw their arms up. From that point, stage left dancers just hold their position, and stage right dancers go back to the beginning. Go, Daddy O. The stage right dancers reverse after. Go, Daddy O. Everyone, just like the beginning. Go, Daddy O. Now we change. Cross drag, ball change, shuffle, hop step. Cross drag, ball change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you know, of course, that you can add one, two, three, four. A pickup on the supporting foot to make that harder. That happens four times. Then you have two sets of easy flaps. One, go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll hear my dancers yelling, go, go, every time. That certainly makes it fun. And they're yelling on the count of two, go, go. They're yelling right with the band. Now where those flaps are taking them is to outer perimeters. Because when you watch the number on tape, you'll see that each of my dancers is doing their own solo in the center. First three dancers have two sets of eight. Dancer number four has three sets of eight. And dancer number five has three sets of eight. Pull your dancers out and, and highlight their strengths whatever those might be. I've zeroed the camera in on their feet really tight and you can see what my dancers are doing. If you don't want to do that, guess what? It's repeat time. So after you get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the second time, you go back to the waltz clog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. The exact same step. You can mix them up if you want. to the flapples. Now then, those would be the two steps you would repeat if you don't want to do the challenge feature. Then everyone, regardless of which you choose to do, we go back to triple time steps, but this time the entire group starts with the right foot. So we're all turning outside to the left. We're all doing the shim sham on the right. Then you're going to hear ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Remember earlier when we did shuffle, ball change, toe stand, toe stand. Same thing musically. The difference is the back row is go the back row is going ba 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 ba. Front row is going ba 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 ba. We all do one and a two and a three and a four, five, and we run to the center and we pose. Big held note with lots of trumpets, very big and brassy. And that's the end of the number.